Here we go, copy me. You're good at this! Oh, I'm good at this! <laughs> Come on! Robot it! Here we go, robot it, robot it, I'll fast you, robot. <laughs> yes! It's beautiful! <laughs> going to go into the op shop and Kia is little Pixie here. We've got Steve Irwin pics. and we've got Pixie and because she can jump like three foot into the air. Three foot. There we go. <laughs> we're going to go into the op shop and find something cool because we're about to do a photo shoot together and we thought it'd be a good idea if we go in and see what you can get and then go out and shoot. Who, who knows what I'm going to wear? <laughs> Surprise fashion shoot. Let's do it. We're doing a fashion shoot, so we're going to get some uh, like some nice dresses. Oh, oh no, Devo! We might get another one. <laughs> we'll see if we can find another one. Okay. Just whatever catches your fancy, I think. Yeehaw! Oh, it's a little skirt. <laughs> <laughs> might be a bit short. Oh, yes. Sorry, guys. This is free entertainment, right? <laughs> it's just the way that we do. Straight in my basket. <laughs> Loves it. Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Bye. That was a win. Win. How do you feel about your purchase? Oh, no. I feel bloody brilliant. How do you feel, Steve Evans? Sun <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Sun's come out. We're on. I think I spotted something we knew. A bit of a floody going on here. Yeah, let me tell you stuff. <laughs> stealing, she's stealing. We have got this very, very nice little vest. We have got this fluffy jacket that I came here in. Yes. We have got this lovely knitted Kmart attire. And this nice little hat we've got here. What a purchase, all for the price of? Eight bucks. Would you look at that? All right, how are you feeling? Bloody brilliant. Yep, we're uh, we're on our first location, and Kia's rocking the scarf that we picked. No, it's your scarf. Yes, I was wearing it as a top this morning, and now it's turned into a headpiece. There you go, and she's rocking what we bought from the op shop. Yes, the old Kmart jumper. Beautiful love and it. lovely. There you go, and we've got to our first location, and I just want to say. Always when you, it doesn't matter about the location, it matters about the poses. So get confident in posing because no matter what location you're in, you should be confident in posing in case you're shooting with someone that hasn't shot before. So it's very important. And that'll make it a lot less awkward when it comes to posing mid-shoot. The shittier location it is, the easier it is when you have a nicer location. Think about it like that. So we've got some barns, we've got a little, uh, some sheep, a sheep ramp here. We've got some wild oats and we're gonna go and sit on it. We might be, get some framing in there and we'll just go and have some fun. Old Pixie's here, she's ready to jump into the sky and go for it. <laughs> Fence jumpers, here you take this. Hey! Ninja. <laughs> Looking on the gimbal, go. How good. Pixie, Steve. All right, here we go. Okay, nice leaning on that. Uh, yeah, let's start standing and then we'll drop down. All right, okay. Yeah, so this is going to be really incorporate the, the scarf and you can use that just so you've got something in your hands. I think that's nice. And we want a bit more of a serious pose. Let's be full model -y. You could even kind of look up into 
those trees sort of thing, like you're bathing in the sun almost. Yeah, like just fully appreciating the sun on your face. Nice. You can just lean like that. That is nice. Uh, bring the exposure up a little bit because you're in the shadow. That's beautiful. Can you rest your back on it and just kind of hold the top of the pole almost? Yeah. Nice. And I'm going to try and get... Yep, look at me. Good. Hold that. You can almost lean against it and sort of tuck, with both hands, tuck your scarf into your chin a little bit. There. Move your hair out of the way slightly. I want, I want the sunshine to come straight into your eyes so you can see the light. Straight in your eye. Yeah, that's nice. Yep. Yeah, hold that, that's good. You got your clear cuts clean. That was good. No, <laughs> no, that's nice, it's tucked in. We're going for a Titanic look. Jack, hold me, Jack. Hold me, Jack. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Yes, that's like a full power stance. Okay, nice. Hold that. That is epic. Look up at the sun. I was getting some photos there and the trees directly in the background and I pre I preferably like cleaner backgrounds, cleaner images and with less distractions. And to me, that tree was being a very big distraction on here. And it was taking away from her the photo. So I'm gonna try and shift, always just move, move around a little bit so you can get a cleaner image. So whether that means, so in this, for example, I'm going to get around on the left side so the sky is in the background behind her and it'll be a lot cleaner image and it'll be more focused in on Kia. And you can also, in Lightroom, you can maybe bring some gradient filters in so the audience can really like hone in on Kia, the subject, and it'll be nice and clean. I'll show you an example. There we go, okay, nice. Nice, now can you like, maybe put your hands over your knees and like lean into me a little bit? Yeah, beautiful, hold that. Lovely. Now tuck in, get that scarf, tuck it in, still lean over. Yeah, beautiful, that's super nice. Yeah, hold that. True, that is, I should have noticed that. <laughs> that's like the first thing that um, we should have known. Anyway, that reminds me, it's like, scan. Yeah. First thing, scan the body. That what have I we got? Actually, I do that all the time. Yeah. It's such a bad habit. Scan the body, always take off scrunchies. Scrunchies, they are deadly. <laughs> gotta go. Deadly. Beautiful spot here where she's, where we've got a little bit of depth with this pole in front of her, and also her legs are acting as a bit of depth, so it just makes the photo more interesting. And then we've got her nicely framing in the, the cattle grid here, in the cattle posts. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful portrait location. I'm really liking it. She's in the shade, so there's no harsh shadows. And it's very nicely shaded on her face. Oh, and the wind is making it pretty incredible as well. Just gently sh shifting the hair there. So we're going for another framing thing. She's gonna frame in the middle, which, cause I'm a, really, I'm a real sucker for symmetry. So I love to try and frame a subject or the model, talent, whatever you call it. Pixie, keep holding, these are solid. Now look at both hands up in the sky. Look up, yeah, beautiful. Looks like you've got wings, holy shit. It may not seem like a lot, but like the, the slightest shift of an inch can, when you're looking back through your photos, you're gonna wish that you shifted the composition slightly because Kia was slightly off and wanted to be like completely center, dead center of this frame that we've got here. And when you're going back and looking through the photos, it's gonna piss you off. So make those changes while you're shooting because otherwise you're gonna wish you did it and it might make or break the photos. Now this is a little bit of 
something that I've seen other photographers do, like Emmett Sparling, and I just couldn't resist. And Kia has beautiful eyes, so what I'm gonna try and do is wrap the nicely colored, what do you call it? Table runner. Table runner. Wrap the table runner around her face so, she, so you can just see the eyes because it's the colors of the table runner is bringing out the eyes. We've got really nice soft shaded light on her face and it's the, her eyes are like glimmering. So we're gonna get a few close portraits with a 50 mil. I've just changed it, 50 mil, 1.2. Uh, we're gonna get some nice port, like face portraits. Okay. Oh girl, yes, good. Let's do some B-roll on our way out yep. and then we'll go to the beach. I was expecting more. I was expecting more. I had to say. I had to say. <laughs> <laughs>